Hello everyone, this is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I was gonna share some of my go-to travel makeup. Um, I always think it's funny because I have tons of makeup, but when it comes to traveling, you tend to kind of narrow it down to the things that you actually really love and use all the time. <laughs> So as I have been um, getting ready, I get to go to New York to finally see my son. Um, some of you who've been watching my videos know, but uh, my son is a freshman in college and he is in New York City and we live in Portland, Oregon. And this is the first time I get to see him <laughs> since he's left in August. So I'm just a little bit excited. Um, and so I'm getting ready to pack. And I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and share with you what made the cut today. So first off, um, Sephora was still having its 20% off sale as of Monday. Um, and I have been really intrigued by this Summer Fridays Jet Leg Mask. Now, one thing that I always do is the airplanes, um, the travel really does seem to wreak havoc on my skin. It's just so drying in the air, um, in the cabin, and you know, it's just kind of eh. <laughs> So anyways, I heard, let's see, it says you don't have to be a jet setter to have that leg. Upgrade your skin to a business class complexion no matter what time your red eye gets in or what time your head hits the pillow. This is cute. The Uber Dewy Hydrating Mask soothes thirsty, stressed out skin by steeping cells in a nourishing mix of vitamins, ceramides, antioxidants, and ex gently exfoliating extract. Uh, skin looks instantly renewed, radiant, and ready for anything. So what I heard, and the reason why I wanted to pick this up, and it looks pretty darn cute, um, and I actually really love Mariana Hewitt, I think she's adorable, um, is that you can actually use this as a moisturizer. So one thing that I always do before um, getting on the airplane, like when I'm getting ready, we usually have to take the first flight out, so really early, three or four in the morning. <laughs> or if you wanna to get to the East Coast, you gotta leave early in the morning. Um, so this is, I usually make sure I layer on like this hydrating B5 gel from um, SkinCeuticals. I also have their hyaluronic acid. So what I'm saying is I always like to add a little extra layer of serums um, that basically have hyaluronic acid. And I heard that this basically is just loaded with that and that you can put a thin layer on, but actually treat it as kind of a lotion. Um, so I'm gonna try this guy and I'll let you know because I'm not one of those who's gonna wear a sheet mask on the airplane. <laughs> um, but I do always use my heaviest moisturizer. I layer with a bunch of serums that are like super moisturizing before I get on a flight. So I'm excited about that. So these two are making the cut. They always come with me. Um, another thing that always makes the cut and it's actually still in my little makeup bag. So here's my little handy dandy um, dirty Nordstrom beauty bag that I usually travel with. And I had a few things in there that I just keep in there um, that I'm always gonna take. And one of them is going to be Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. I seriously think it's just awesome. It's very utilitarian, no bells and whistles. It just takes off your makeup just like it should be. And one thing I will say is whenever I go to New York, I actually do heat, you know, feel the pollution. Um, like you do kind of feel grimy at the end of the day. And I just love the way this just like gets not only your makeup off, but it just seems to get that layer of crud off before you go in with your cleansing. So this will be making it. I'm primarily focusing on makeup today, not my skincare. If you want a video on that, we can do that. Okay, this was a tough one. Next thing that's coming up was foundation. <laughs> so 
I was having a hard time between my Westman Atelier stick foundation and my Tom Ford um, traceless stick foundation. And you guys, this one, I am just going to take this guy and then I'm also taking a sample size of the La Prairie uh, foundation that I got. So I've never, I don't like to carry glass bottles. I've had a glass bottle of foundation um, break on me before. Luckily it was mostly in the bag, but you guys, that just destroys, destroys things. Um, really hard to get out of clothes, by the way. So I'm always going to focus on some kind of stick. And I love the Westman Atelier, but this one holds up a little bit longer. Um, who knows? I'll probably bring both. But so far, I'm going to say Traceless Tom Ford stick made the cut. And this one has just a little bit more coverage. Um, I don't know. I This one is just one of my go-tos. So this foundation, and then I'm going to be taking this brush I love to use with this. And this is the Bye Bye foundation, which is kind of like a, as you see, it has a different little... I don't know if you'd say triangle, but this one is such, it works fantastic with this particular foundation. You can really buff it in, and that's what I'm wearing today, by the way, uh, these two. So those two are going, they made the cut. Now, pretty much the rest of my Westman Atelier um, collection did make it, and that's what I'm saying. I'll probably end up taking um, one of the sticks. I have two different colors, and i probably take the lighter one. Um, okay. So, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with this line. And I love, I'm going to be taking her Westman Atelier Petal Blush. And I'm actually hoping to pop into a Barney's and maybe pick up another one of her Baby Cheeks Blush. That's on my list um, of possibly getting. And then the other thing that I pretty much absolutely adore and you guys i am i'm wearing this today <laughs> i'm wearing this today this is my westman atelier peau de pêche um highlighter super loaded highlighter highlighter uh, i i love this so much it's gonna definitely come with me so those two made the cut um i will be taking my it cosmetics this is that heavenly complexion perfection which has both sides i this one is coming with as well because i like to use with this and the blush i really like to use this particular brush for it and then um the westman atelier contour stick in biscuit i wonder where i'm at with this see look you guys i literally love this stuff love 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 um it's something i use daily again i'm wearing that today and this is what i'm saying about the these are so true um so travel friendly so all of that is coming with and as we're talking i'm like i'm sure i'm just gonna throw in one of the other sticks as well um okay uh this was stuck in there from my last time which i'll take with me is the ole henriksen banana bright eye love this eye cream um i've got other ones that i like as well but this is great for travel super moisturizing but it actually does brighten underneath the eyes so love that and a beauty blender is going to be coming of course you always need that my Bausch and Lomb um, Lumify Eye Drops. You guys, I have seriously, these are game changers. Thank you, Penny. Thank you for this recommendation. <laughs> um, totally love those. Okay, um, last couple things, guys, that are in here that are making the cut is the By Terry Terribly Denseless um, concealer and you guys this one somebody had asked me i forgot to put i have it in number four medium peach so this one i have trouble with all concealers but this one i just i find that it does not dry out underneath my eyes and make it look older it will it probably doesn't have a lot of coverage for some people who love like those ones with a lot of coverage but this just does lighten up underneath the eyes so it is making the cut um, okay, then eyes, I was having a hard time and you guys might be able to help me, but I may, um, I may have already packed by then. So my go-to Tom Ford eye look, 
um, and that's what I'm wearing today. I love disco dust. Like this is my go-to eye, easy, basic. I wear it all the time. Oh my gosh, I mean, it is like, can you tell? I love <laughs> this one. I love, love, love. So I think I'm probably just taking this eye look and just being done. But the other one that I'm absolutely obsessed with, Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. Oh, I love it. I'm, you know what? We might just have to take this guy. It's just so darn pretty and you can do so many different looks. Now, when I'm traveling, um, <laughs> makeup, you're, we're doing so much. Like we get up bright and early and we will be walking our bottoms off all day long. You know, it isn't, um, we, you know, this is our first trip to see our son. We're gonna try Macy's Day Parade. We have all that he wants to take us all over the city, take us over to Brooklyn. So, you know, um, I probably don't need that, but we'll just see. I, I just, you guys, this is a true love. Like, I love it. Um, and then last but not least, you guys, is a couple, um, a mascara that I am trying out that I just picked up with some perks is the Kush Mascara. I've heard really awesome stuff about this. Um, and I will bring one of my mascaras that I use all the time, either the, um, uh, this guy. <laughs> Look, it happens to be right here. Well, the um, Hourglass Film Noir. But I've been really intrigued by this Kush mascara. So if you guys like this one, let me know. But I have like a little sample, so that will come. And then two lip products that are standing out for me um, is you guys, I seriously love this Fenty Beauty um, Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. Like that is what I am wearing on my lips right now. I just, number one, I love the color and I'm not someone who really likes liquid lipsticks. So I do have to put a little bit of um, lip gloss on top of it. Um, coming up, that's one last, I know one last thing, but seriously. So this made the cut and then I love the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hello Talk. And you guys, this is just like my perfect lips but better color. But I love this formula and this is sexy, um, lips because it's a little bit glossier um really comfortable easy to wear i love it um okay hold on there was something that i always take that i wanted to tell you about this is always in my little backpack that i travel with and this is the bite um agave lip mask Ugh, you guys you need this especially when you are traveling i don't know about you guys but my lips get so chapped this guy, I just have it in the clear color. It is just a super, uh, I don't even know if I can get it out. <laughs> um, a super thick, uh, beautiful, uh, okay. I can't show you, but let's just say once you get it out of the tube um, and smear it on your lips, they will be so moisturized. It, it will last the entire flight. So, so important. That's a couple things I always feel like is my lips get chapped and my skin gets super dry. Um, so, that is coming with me. So those are kind of my basics. I may do a few add-ons, but basically I feel like I've kind of got my go-to travel makeup. Um, if you ever want to see the skincare, I can um, let you do that, but I'll be heading off soon, but so by the time I travel. <laughs> I'm thinking this might be it. Okay, so that is what has made the cut so far. Um, but you guys, I'd love to hear what you guys take when you travel. I just think it's funny because you really do have to narrow down and you really pick out the things that you actually use, love. Um, and of course, I'm sure that there might be a few purchases that I'm going to be making there. So I always like to bring a, um, not too much makeup because, you know, we both know I'm skincare um, <laughs> beauty junkie. I'm sure I'm gonna be making a stops, a couple stops along the way. I try to seek out places where that I don't personally can't shop here in Portland. So I try to hit spots that are gonna be unique places that I do not have that I can go and get things that, again, I can't see in person. Um, so I'm super excited about that. 
But anyways, this is my go-to. I hope this was helpful and I'd love to hear what your go-to makeup and skincare travel essentials are. And I will talk to you guys soon.